The Canon EOS R10 Mark II is quickly becoming one of the most talked about upcoming mirrorless cameras in 2025. Although Canon has not yet officially confirmed its release, the buzz across photography forums, camera blogs, and rumor sites strongly suggest that this new model will bring a host of upgrades over its predecessor, the original EOS R10. The first generation R10, released in 2022, was well received as an entry-level APS-C mirrorless camera that combined powerful performance with a compact and lightweight design. It catered to both enthusiasts and aspiring professionals, and it carved out a solid position in the growing mid-range mirrorless market. Given the increasing competition from brands like Sony, Nikon, and Fujifilm in the APS-C segment, Canon is widely expected to raise the bar with the EOS R10 Mark II. This new version will likely focus on key areas that matter most to modern photographers and content creators, sensor resolution, autofocus performance, video capabilities, stabilization, and overall usability. The upgrades in these departments could significantly boost the R10 Mark II's appeal, making it not only a worthy successor but also a potential standout in Canon's APS-C lineup. Let's first take a look at where the original Canon EOS R10 stood. The 2022 model featured a 24.2-megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor paired with Canon's powerful Digic X image processor. This hardware combination allowed the camera to achieve impressive high-speed continuous shooting, up to 15 frames per second using the mechanical shutter and up to 23 FPS with the electronic shutter. This made it an excellent choice for capturing fast-moving subjects such as wildlife, sports, and street photography. The original R10 also featured Canon's reliable dual-pixel CMOS AF2 autofocus system, which supported advanced subject detection and tracking for humans, animals, and vehicles. This system delivered consistent and accurate focusing performance, making the R10 a strong performer not only for still photography but also for video work. Additionally, the camera offered oversampled 4K video recording from 6K capture, providing excellent video quality with impressive detail and clarity. However, despite its many strengths, the R10 lacked one critical feature that's become increasingly important in today's mirrorless landscape, in-body image stabilization. For many users, especially those shooting handheld videos or working in low-light environments, this was a noticeable limitation. With the Canon EOS R10 Mark II, Canon is expected to address this major shortcoming. One of the most anticipated features of the upcoming model is the inclusion of 5-axis in-body image stabilization. Adding IBIS would significantly enhance the camera's versatility, especially for handheld video shooters and photographers who often work without a tripod. This feature would bring the R10 Mark II in line with competing models from Sony, Nikon, and Fujifilm, all of which offer IBIS in their APS-C mirrorless cameras. By closing this gap, Canon could make the R10 Mark II a far more appealing option in the competitive mid-range segment. Another area where the Canon EOS R10 Mark II is expected to show improvement is image resolution. Rumors point to a new sensor, potentially around the 30-megapixel mark, which would represent a notable increase over the 24.2MP sensor found in the original model. A higher resolution sensor would not only provide more detailed images but also offer greater flexibility for cropping, printing, and post-processing. This could be a major benefit for landscape photographers, portrait shooters, and content creators looking for maximum image quality from a compact APS-C body. Low-light performance and dynamic range are also expected to improve with the new sensor and updated processor. These enhancements would allow the Canon EOS R10 Mark II to perform better in challenging lighting conditions, something that is particularly important for event photographers, travel vloggers, and journalists who frequently shoot in uncontrolled environments. Canon's image processing has historically been strong in delivering clean images at higher ISOs, and with new technology in the R10 Mark II, users can expect even better results. Autofocus is another crucial component where the Canon EOS R10 Mark II is expected to see meaningful refinements. The dual-pixel CMOS AF2 system in the original R10 was already very capable, but Canon is likely to push it even further in the Mark II. Rumors suggest the addition of enhanced AI-driven subject recognition, improved tracking accuracy in low light, and faster overall responsiveness. These improvements could make the R10 Mark II an even more reliable tool for high-speed action photography, wildlife, and fast-paced documentary work. On the video front, the original EOS R10 already delivered solid performance, with oversampled 4K at up to 60 frames per second. For the Mark II, users are hoping Canon eliminates that crop for 4K 60p recording, enabling full sensor readout and improved framing flexibility. 
There is also speculation that Canon may introduce 10-bit internal recording with Canon Log 3, giving filmmakers and content creators more room to grade footage in post-production. This would be a significant step up from the original model and would make the EOS R10 Mark II a much more capable hybrid camera. In addition to this, support for 120fps and Full HD for slow-motion video is expected to make its way into the R10 Mark II. This would further expand its video appeal, offering more creative flexibility for YouTubers, TikTok creators, and independent filmmakers who frequently work with dynamic, slow-motion footage. If Canon can deliver high-quality 4K and slow-motion capabilities in a camera that remains compact and affordable, it could be a major win for a wide range of creators. Beyond internal specs, the Canon EOS R10 Mark II is also rumored to feature upgrades in its viewfinder and rear LCD. The original model came with a 2.36 million dot electronic viewfinder, which was decent but not class-leading. A higher resolution EVF with a faster refresh rate would enhance the shooting experience, especially for users transitioning from DSLR systems or those who rely heavily on composing through the viewfinder. Similarly, a brighter, more responsive fully articulating LCD screen would improve usability for vloggers and photographers who shoot from creative angles or in bright outdoor conditions. Battery life is another area that might see gains in the R10 Mark II. The original camera had reasonably good battery performance, but with potential efficiency improvements from a newer digit processor and better heat management, the Mark II could deliver even longer shooting times on a single charge. This would be especially useful for travel shooters, event photographers, and video creators who need a reliable system for all-day use without frequently swapping batteries. From a pricing standpoint, the Canon EOS R10 Mark II is expected to remain in the mid-range APS-C mirrorless category. It will likely be positioned above Canon's entry-level EOS R50 and below the more advanced EOS R7. If Canon can deliver substantial upgrades in sensor resolution, video functionality, stabilization, and overall performance without significantly increasing the price, the R10 Mark II could become one of the best value-for-money cameras in its class. In summary, while the Canon EOS R10 Mark II hasn't been officially announced, all signs point to a meaningful upgrade that addresses the key limitations of the original R10 while building on its strengths. With anticipated enhancements in resolution, autofocus, video performance, IBIS, and ergonomics, this new model could serve as a powerful yet portable tool for a wide range of users, from hobbyists and travel photographers to serious content creators and hybrid shooters. As we wait for Canon to unveil the official specifications, the EOS R10 Mark II remains one of the most promising and exciting mirrorless cameras expected in 2025.